Dad picked me up from Mom's place around 4 in the afternoon, before which I took a roughly two-hour nap from about 11.30 in the morning to about a 2 to 2.30 in the afternoon. After which I went and got ready for Dad to pick me up. The styrofoam drawing I made in question was that of a simple basketball design. At one point when I called Dad, he suggested I put on a Spalding logo on one area of the basketball And I initially considered doing that, but yeah, but because I was already going to do that for one section of the basketball in the back, for which uh, for the back I de designated the side with that circle depression as the back, and the side without that depression as the front, since that way the front looks more like a real basketball. I was pretty careful while drawing those black lines in order to try and make them look somewhat symmetrical, but I mean, in reality, it's it may not be possible for the lines to be completely symmetrical while freehanding a styrofoam ball. And that seemed to be my first styrofoam ball drawing since 2015 based on a somewhat quick look over the collection of st styrofoam drawing photos off of a folder entitled Styrofoams on my laptop's files. Now, it was around this time that I did a bit of experimenting with the lineage paths other than the military path. In this case, I did some exploring on the noble lineage because <clears throat> spending 30 silver lineage coins and two gold lineage coins on the secret training upgrade and then some, I believe, 80 silver lineage coins on the gold on loss noble lineage upgrade going from commoner to baron to viscount within the sword fight congregate game because I wanted to see what the rank 2 passive upgrade was for the other lineage paths and I saw it for the noble lineage path and it's a gold boost upgrade and I spent a gold lineage coin the first level of that, since uh, more gold means more gear upgrades.
after a brief stop at his apartment unit, around 4.30 to 5 p.m., we arrived at Salvatore's. Presumably so we could chat with Dad's friends. Or at the very least, that's what, it, that's what ended up happening. We stayed until about 9 p.m. During which time, I had roughly three drinks, drink drinks. The last of it, the last of which was something called a green tea shot. The second drink was watermelon Malibu with, I think, some pineapple juice mixed in. Then the first one was a mule, which is what a ginger beer is called. And that first. And that first drink was given to me on default. Maybe Dad picked that one for me, or maybe... Our bartender picked that one out for me. I believe I'm still on the same Disciple run as yesterday. I ended up losing time because I kept the game online while The laptop was shut for both when Dad was getting ready to pick me up and while we were at Salvatore's. We got a large pizza with the regular sauce, which I believe is technically called marinara sauce. A pizza with ham, bacon, and cup chard pepperoni. I think I had about a dozen pieces of that pizza. Which were pretty much in the style of a sheet pizza.
And then later on, me and Dad ordered fried dough as a dessert. And this time we remembered to try and ask for cotton candy sauce, but they didn't have any left that time. The fried dough was quite enjoyable. Uh, relatively early on today, while I was still at Mom's place, I finished a Twist Frosty she got me at Wendy's while I was taking that nap in the middle of the day. And she also... I also finished the last of the Wendy's of the leftover Wendy's french fries. Which at this point were probably about two days left over and they were still enjoyable. I heated them for approximately 45 seconds and that was almost too much. The microwave was steaming at the end of that. I got the vanilla twist frosty out of the freezer and thankfully, it must have only been in there for some minutes because it wasn't completely frozen like ice cream. It was still like that middle point between a milkshake and ice cream. That all Frosties are by default. Thick enough that you could eat it with a spoon, which is typically how me and mom eats it, but still theoretically thin enough that you could drink it with a straw. You just might have some difficulty in doing so. I also worked around the time I did the basketball styrofoam drawing. I did some work on that. That styrofoam drawing that I worked on while I was sing singing karaoke. Those other days. of Wednesday and Thursday, according to my best recollection. I completed the sides and back of the hair with one of those thick chisel black Sharpie markers. This is the magnesium water. Mm-hmm. 
you know, when Dad was doing some shopping at Wegmans prior to going to pick me up, I believe the Wegmans near his place. Though I'm not 100% sure, it could have also been the Wagmans near Mom's place. And that may seem more likely, considering how quickly he got to me and Mom's place. After that phone call, letting me know he was done shopping at Wegmans. And then when he got here, Dad and I went to move the Christmas tree out of the house and into... The snow filled curb. The curb wasn't blocked up with snow. Blocked up with snow. It was plowed, but it still had some snow. We spilled water. that the stand had on the left side of my pants and had to change my pants when I got to Dad's place. And I got a not-too-deep scratch on my right leg just above, just above the knee, that when I got to Dad's place, I applied warm water, then lathered soap on, and then used warm water to rinse the soap off in order to clean it, since That's the basic safety precaution when it comes to breaks in skin. Uh, this is actually the leftover kombucha I left in the fridge when mom went to pick me up the other day. A while back. If I recall correctly, that was on Wednesday. And after I finished the green tea shot and the watermelon Malibu drink pretty much at the same time as each other, I had uh, two glasses of water with ice in it. And that water made me go from feeling kind of sluggish to more energized. Yeah, water is very healthy and it was around the time I thought there was a saying I know it's an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but I thought there was also a saying maybe a glass of water keeps the doctor away, but that doesn't seem to be the case. I tried to search it off of my phone. But couldn't find any evidence of that variation of the old saying.